with an understanding of image licensing, model and property releases, and what can happen if you fail to obtain and store proper documentation, you need to define your policies about image creation, purchase, and use. You'll communicate those in the brand style guide, or as additional documentation outside the brand style guide as you prefer. Some organizations, like this children's clothing designer, include prohibitions against using stock photography, as well as clear, easily understood rules and guidelines governing the creation of new imagery. Notice how the style guide defines do's and don'ts, including a shelf life for imagery. The last rule in particular I truly appreciate as it addresses a common mistake made by busy marketing people and layout artists. A B2B software as a service provider has a very different brand style guide imagery section. This company does allow stock photography use, but has chosen to keep the brand style guide itself light on policy. Instead, licensing matters are addressed in the employee handbook and freelance addendums. Let's open the style guide we've been working on in InDesign, whether that's the Jambox brand style guide or one you've created from the template I provided. Include samples of appropriate visuals in your brand style guide. Designers and photographers understand examples of a visual language and can use them to learn and continue articulating that language. By presenting a series of images that evoke the desired emotions of the brand and fulfill the intent of the guidelines, you will help your agents far more than mere written rules and information can. Identify moods, feelings, concepts, adjectives, and descriptive terms help your agents, particularly creative agents, to choose photographs and footage that evoke the feeling, impart the concepts, and speak the language you want for your brand's visual identity. Add to your brand style guide short moods to strike or feelings to evoke lists populated with the most important three to seven emotions, moods, and ideas connected to your brand. Optionally, define and describe the technical specifications for photography and videography. Specifications could include file formats such as JPEG or TIFF for images, and MPEG-4 or AVI for video, pixel dimensions, resolution, color depth, frame rate, and other details that can both affect the quality and display of such files, but also alter workflow and file compatibility with different software and vendors and partners systems. Include any other guidelines governing the correct use of photographs, illustrations, animation, video footage, and other forms of imagery, such as don't flip images and always use photos from the current year's line, which are pivotal to the Children's Clothing Company's brand style guide. Also provide a path, explicit or implied, that creatives should follow when they need imagery not already available within the brand's asset library. If using stock photography or footage is disallowed, explain where and how new imagery may be obtained. If stock content may be purchased on behalf of your organization, make sure your agents know how to do it correctly, which licensing you and your asset control team approve, and how to properly store licenses and proofs of purchase for long-term archival and instant recall.